The Apprentice project really was a challenge that took all those skills that you learn in textbooks and classrooms and you could put them really into practice. There's school projects but then there's the real actual project and then it was one of those and it really gets you like and if, it's, if we know it's going to go nationally and everything like that it's will we know it's like oh okay that's so cool we made that and that kind of thing we we filmed that and then uh, we edited this. Ravensbourne specialise in media studies and we specialise in business and enterprise. We don't capture our activities well on video because we don't have those skills or that knowledge. Um, Ravensbourne would like to do a little bit more business-wise and to have a business ethos running through their school. So the real benefits are that everybody is a winner. Work-related learning not only is really valuable but also that it, it's not quite as a challenge as it appears to be to set it up. You can, and, and what we're showing is that actually one school could be the um, em employer of another. Today we're at Matthew Arnold's school for the Apprentice Project. We've come from Ravensbourne School as a media crew to film the Apprentice Projects we're doing here at Matthew Arnold's in the style of The Apprentice, the TV show on BBC One. Good morning guys, um, good morning to the Matthew Arnold School. I, Adam and Liz here take the Business Admin and Finance Diploma. And what we've got for you here is about 10 or 11 bullet points of some shots that we'd like you to film. We appreciate you for coming all this way and we welcome you to the Matthew Arnold School this morning. What's your job role in the Apprentice Project? Today in the Apprentice Project I'll be working more mostly in post-production with my co-worker Ben doing editing. I was the editor in the project. With the Vision Mix we did a live recording so it went straight to uh, the Vision Mixer's hard drive. I was boom operator so I followed the camera and I held the boom so you could pick up the sound. My job role today is camera operator. I'm going to be a floor manager and I'm going to be working with lighting as well. Setting up the lighting. You're doing the sound, the boom mics. I'm going to be interviewing students and judges alike. I've had my little corner with a little studio set up, like a studio. What's different with Ravensbourne is we very much value the professional experience. Um, the equipment that we purchase for the students, um, the environment that we set up for the students is very much a media working environment. When you do your own projects at school, you're just working with the same people. So we've got experience of outside of school, so we're working with other people, not just Blue Sky Media, Matthew Arnold, so other people we don't know. The possibility of working with um, external companies as well brings a reality to um, learning that you can't get any other way. So that experiential learning is absolutely essential and fantastic. We're putting them on the spot to see how they, their minds operate under pressure in a work-related environment. Hopefully, they'll cope with it. It was run like a business, I think. Um, we had certain meeting areas and we had the film crew around us, obviously. And uh, I found it inspirational, to be honest with you. It was taken in a school environment, completely away from our normal lessons and doing an actual business task that people would do in, in the top companies in the world. What was interesting to us as a prospective employer and as a local business is to actually see the learners in action, how well they react on their feet and how well they learn outside the classroom. We was able to help other schools develop their skills and they enabled us to develop our skills but also working alongside the business we found out more what it's like to be in the industry. Blue Sky Media is planning to launch a media festival in 2012. What's the big thing about 2012? Olympics. Olympics. In your teams, you'd be developing a media festival. What else would we be expecting to see in your uh, four minutes presentation later on? A bit around the marketing. How do you communicate that festival? Okay, what does it look like? Has it got a strap line? And a bit around costings. The festival is set out, it's based on the tube map. We're, we're going to try and have it in a park or a big open space, maybe in the Excel Centre. The festival is something to do with 2012, so we're thinking of having loads of different cultures because of all the tourists that are going to come and different activities for them to do. Abby and Maya are doing a logo, they're going to be more on marketing, whereas Clarice and myself are going to be more on finance and doing the mathematics. If we drop them in like we have done today, where well, they knew nothing about what's going to happen, can they just think on their feet? Can they battle on through something? Can they handle that pressure? Are you ready to present your group? Um, I think we've still got a bit more work to do, but we can do some work over lunch. I don't really like presenting out loud to other people, so it's going to be a challenge. Good afternoon. I'm Sarah and we're Team Intrepid. I'm the project manager. I'm Becky and I'm the finance director. Our festival name is Britain's Got Media. And our slogan, come up with by James, is everything's easier when Britain's Got Media.
coming here to present at a national conference. The skills and the knowledge and understanding they've gained, they're actually going to impart to other adults in the workplace, other businesses. It's a big place and there's a lot of people, so it's a good chance to talk to other people who are in business. Many, many different projects, many different things that happen within applied learning. Work related is a large part of it, it's not the sole part of it. We've taken two of our um, quite leading schools in what they do and we sort of introduced them to each other to do this joint project. I'd like to show you a brief clip in a minute about how our day was filmed and this task was actually filmed by Ravensbourne School. And I'd like to just say one thing, the BBC has some serious competition. We had great fun on the day filming, but we also found it very educational as well, that we was able to work to such a professional standard under not only pressure, but time constraints. The main thing that I was impressed with was bringing that reality to what the young people were doing, to bring the two schools together. In, in real scenarios, uh, the, the kids at one school actually developing the apprentice model if you like, to, for the 2012 Olympics, and then the other school coming in and, and having a real film to make uh, alongside, and I think that that combination worked very well in the, in the case study that, that was presented. It was wonderful to see two sets of pupils who didn't know each other from the outset. They got to know each other, they got to work in their teams with each other to achieve a goal, which was the film. Um, and their confidence grew. I, it, yeah, I, brilliant.